it's good to be back at Carrington in Manchester. It's been a while. Uh, we are going to watch the training session and to see how everything goes here behind the scenes. I have a sit down with Eric and we catch up uh, with the boys. So, come on. Hello, Kev. Hello. It's so good well, to see you. Good to see you. How are you? Very mm. good. Mm. Still looking, good. Looking great. Extra one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we always remember that, don't we? It's my favourite. So good to see you. Yeah, it's lovely to looking see you. Looking great. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for that. Happy with the paper? Yeah, yeah, well, it's, uh, you're definitely not a doctor. <laughs> Boss. Here we are again. <laughs> first Thanks, Eric, for making time to uh, talk with me. I've noticed a very good atmosphere um, at the club. Uh, do you think that there's a big change of uh, the moment you started the job? until now? Uh, uh, of course, I think things changed. Last year was a lot of negativity uh, around. But yeah. I think what we're now doing, uh, and from day one uh, we started uh, togetherness. So many people working here in a good way uh, together. And uh, that is here on Carrington uh, with a lot of people, but also uh, the vibe uh, we have now again with the fans. And I think yeah. Yeah, we have to make the fans proud. Yeah. Have you changed much? in terms of uh, rules, in terms of uh, discipline, uh, food, lifestyle? Yeah, I have certain rules uh, must be um, off the pitch. Uh, yeah. Because when there is no discipline in the rules of the pitch, yeah. uh, then it will transfer uh, uh, on the pitch. Yeah. And um, yeah, but yeah, for me, not many rules because I'm working with adults, I'm working with players uh, who have won everything uh, already in the world. They know how to win trophies. So also they know what to do and so uh, which lifestyle they have to do. And they know that you have to act as a team and uh, to be successful. Yeah. Did you um, change your philosophy a bit because you're in a different country now and you work at a different club? Or do you stick to your principles and your uh, way of working? Uh, of course, I have. Um, um, a certain philosophy about I want to see uh, football and one thing is I want to play uh, attacking, I want to play proactive and it's not about uh, the way you want to play but yeah, the players uh, mm -hmm. they, uh, they uh, decide, they dictate uh, the philosophy how you play. Yeah. Yeah. You, have, you have to adapt definitely uh, but mm -hmm. uh, for instance for me nowadays football is about you attack with 11 players and you defend with 11 yeah. players so if you ask me about um, uh, fullbacks, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you find them sometimes in positions you don't expect them. Yeah, that's what I like, and yeah. I, 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 I'm looking for that type of players. Yes, definitely. Yeah. But that's not what I um, discovered mm. because in 1974 there was a Dutch team <laughs> and they play already total football, yeah. and there was a keeper. Uh, he was the sweeper of the team. Yeah. Uh, they are playing already with a very high line. Of course, they had a leader yeah. and a very creative uh, player up front, Johan Cruyff. Yeah. And he was always the one uh, thinking out of the box. Yeah. And it was managed by a great coach like Rinus Michels was. Yeah. One, one other great partnership is uh, Fernandes and Rashford. Yeah. The way they uh, find each other, especially Fernandes towards Rashford. Do you practice that um, specific with, with those two players based on their qualities? Yes, you have to find out where are the connections. Yeah. And once uh, you feel that uh, players have a connection with each other, mm -hmm. uh, you can improve it by uh, and uh, not by focusing every day on it, but just by simple putting together uh, yeah. in drills. Uh, show them uh, video clips. Uh, yeah how they can take benefit from each other. Yeah. I saw that you had dinner with Sir Alex Ferguson. Uh, how big of a... Uh, do, you, do you still feel his legacy around the club? Oh, every day. Yeah. Every day he's here and, and you feel that I think he brings the winning mentality but also 
uh, an eye for creativity, yeah. uh, always good strikers, like uh, you were yeah. one of them, and so uh, big personalities yeah. who, uh, who decided big games. Yeah. And I think, yeah, he brought, he brought it this, he brought it in this club, yeah. and it's great to talk with him about. Yeah. Yeah. Off topic a little bit, um, I'm sure a lot of fans are wondering what kind of hobbies do you have besides <laughs> watching football matches? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 a lot, hey, but in this moment uh, we, we don't have time, don't have time to, uh, to, do, to do other things. But uh, still, uh, I like to, to jog, I like to, to ski, I like uh, to okay. play golf, I, I like to go to the theatre or to, to a movie. Ah, uh, okay, nice. so, so many other things, uh, hiking, uh, so I love it to go in the, in the mountains, uh, go hiking. So enough, uh, but in this moment there's only First. one focus point, uh, football. A couple of trophies uh, this yeah. year. I wish you all the best. Thanks Thank for you. talking to me. And uh, keep it going. Doing a great Robin. job. Robin, it was uh, my pleasure. Great. It's a fun. Yeah? It's, a, it's a joy to watch. Oh, very good. Cheers. Robin. Thanks. Uh. Well, yeah, what I uh, really like about this team now is that in possession and without possession, they're doing so well. And although I was a yeah, striker, I can really enjoy watching a team defend so well as well. Do you remember the first time you met her? The first time was um, was a couple of weeks ago, when I was here for two days. That was the first time, actually, and um, yeah, you know the the way how open he was towards me. He wants to share his knowledge, and um, and, and he wants to help, uh, like a young coach. I'm a young coach now. I'm, uh, my playing days are gone. <laughs> I don't think about or dream about actions anymore. I dream about and think about tactics and systems and how I can yeah, put my team in, in, in the best possible way on a, foot, on a yeah, football pitch. And uh, that's how I think now. And he yeah, gave me some, some new ideas. And I get new ideas everywhere. And yeah, he, he was one of them who uh, really opened the doors. And I appreciate that. Like I mentioned as well in the interview with Eric, is that a lot of people are happy again to watch Manchester United. And, they, um, and, and it gives them joy. And that is what you want as a, as a football club, as a manager, as a player. You want to entertain you want to you want to do nice uh, things on, on on the pitch and you can only do that if you really work well together and this is what the, these guys are doing for the past few months and then you can see what where it can go to and th this is like the boxers game it's like one of the fun bits it's, it's like you, you you don't really have to do much uh, but it's fun you, you're doing it together you have a good time together and that balance is key to success it's like you have to find that balance uh, of having fun and working serious if you have fun i'm yeah you know almost convinced that it it, it adds another 20 30 percent of quality to your game Tyrell Malasia, I used to play with him at, um, at Feyenoord and I'm really proud of him, you know, the way he does it, the way he, he plays, it's just, uh, I think, a great example for young talents. The intensity, how they uh, do a drill and how they finish, it was, it was very good and, you know, Ganacho is, is, a, is a one to watch, you know, he's still very young, very talented player, but if you look how he uh, how he handles difficult situations, how he handles pressure, how he creates, yeah, that is for his age especially is very special. With every exercise there's like a, a clear idea or a clear target to reach for every player. So that was, that was fun and for me as well, from my point of view, I'm, um, I'm a young coach now. Um, he gave me a lot of good insights to work on. Uh, both in possession and when, uh, yeah, when, when the opponent has the ball, but as well how to, how to manage, but not only a team, it's like a whole club, you know, it, it, it almost feels like a prime minister, the, the job he has. I always feel very welcome, welcome here in yeah, Manchester United. Um, you know, I like to see everyone is polite and everyone's happy to see you, you know, and that goes both ways.